Before I say anything else, I would like to point out that our first video has been uploaded to our new channel, Entertainment Studio. So if you're craving more McLovin and love watching kids get pwned, check out ENST. Now, as for this video, I have a few things that I think you might find very useful. Be in class, around the dorm, your bedroom, pretty much anywhere. The great thing about these products is that they're all portable. You can take them anywhere you'd like, perfect for the college student traveler. That one kid who walks around the halls blaring music, yeah, we all know somebody like that. Anyway, let's get to it. First up on the list is a very impressive computer in a stick. That's, that's actually the only way I know how to describe it. This one's from a company called Azul, and while packing an Intel Atom Z3735F quad-core processor into such a small compartment may not be cutting edge anymore, this one's special thanks to its wired LAN port. So in the case of the Azul Quantum Access Mini PC Stick, yeah, that's, that's the full name. You won't have to worry about relying on a wireless connection for your daily web browsing. If this is the first time you've seen a mini compute stick, the deal with these is that you can plug them into virtually any TV or monitor boasting an HDMI port. Simply plug in the device, connect power, connect your peripherals. I recommend a wireless keyboard and mouse combo like this one here, and boom, you've turned your television or monitor into a computer. It's great for YouTube surfing, streaming movies, light desk work, and the frequent traveler. It won't play many games, and to be fair, it wasn't designed for gaming, like, at all, but it will run things like Minecraft without a hitch, just make sure you have enough storage. The Azul Stick does offer a port for expandable micro SD card storage, which will relieve some of that stress. The only complaint I have lies not with the Azul Stick, but with the technology in general. Since it relies on an HDMI connection, it requires a supplementary power source, so not only might you have a LAN cable running from this thing, you'll also have a power cable sprouting from its side. HDMI.org says that the hub can adequately supply enough current for low power power inputs, however it is recommended that most devices use an external power adapter to eliminate potential issues. The Azul, although efficient, is not low power by these standards, I mean we're talking milliamps when it comes to HDMI ports. So expect this to be the norm for quite some time. You can find a link to this particular Azul Quantum Access Mini PC stick in this video's description. Seriously though, come up with a good name, not a long name. Up next is something relatively cheap, cool looking, and cool in functionality, a laptop cooling stand. While this won't help passively cooled laptops very much, I mean, they're not designed to be cooled with fans. Uh, something like my Lenovo 100S would fall under this category. You can also check that out in the video's description and in the video right here. Coolers like this one from Accessory Power go a long way when it comes to laptops relying on internal fans. Meet the Enhanced GXC1. It's large enough for most laptops, durable, equipped with five quiet fans, and super cheap, 20 bucks. I recommend this product to anybody sick and tired of an especially hot lap. It's even great for desks if you don't mind the incline. You can adjust that by the way. You're looking at the blue version here, although it does come in red for the same price. Each fan pushes air through the platform up into the computer itself, and since laptops generally pull in air from their bases and exhaust out the side, you'll, you'll be doing your air-hungry laptop a favor with the GXC1, and you can find it in this video's description. Up next is something that I find comes in oddly handy at the most unexpected time. If you're a casual videographer or photographer or even a professional one of either of those, you know what it's like to not have your main camera at the most inopportune time. Cue the smartphone. But these cameras are limited not only by their small apertures but lens angles, that on top of the inability to take close-up shots. And getting only half the shot or being too far away can be just as frustrating as not having the shot at all. Aki has something for that. Meet their 2-in-1 wide-angle macro lens combo, model PLWD05. This one caught my attention because it's universal. They do sell lens kits designed specifically for, say, the iPhone, but unless you plan on using only one phone forever, I recommend the universal kit. It includes a padded clamp, lens cleaner, and storage bag, and of course the lens combo. It works well even with front-facing cameras, so if you're looking to spice up your phone camera, even if you're sporting the latest and greatest iPhone or Galaxy device, which I am not, Consider the Aki Lens Kit. You can find the product in this video's description. Surprise, surprise. So last time I listed something that I expected to fall short of my, well, expectations. But it didn't. Not even close. In fact, I'm impressed by it so much I'm emailing this company back to request another. Meet the GBB third generation Bluetooth speaker equipped with an IPX4 splash proof rating. This means that you can set it by your pool, splash around it a few times, and still expect the thing to pump out beautiful sound. Just don't drop the thing in the water. Not waterproof, splash proof. And I'm glad that they made that explicitly clear on their Amazon product page. Speaking of which, how does this thing sound? I've got my Blue Yeti microphone up top. You can hear my voice the way it sounds right now. It's it's pretty clear, right? So let's see how clear this thing is. Go ahead and power it on first. 
Power on. Bluetooth mode. To be clear here, asking the question, what is the difference between input lag and response time, is a bit like asking what the difference is between the senses of both touch and sight. They're two completely different things, but it's always nice to have both in check. Let's tackle input lag first. Input lag is defined as the delay between a user to... Okay, so yeah, pretty awesome, right? Dual 5 watt speakers packed inside. It easily sounds 10 times better than a smartphone speaker gets extremely loud while maintaining clear, undistorted waveforms and works with Bluetooth devices up to 30 feet away. You can speak into it thanks to its built-in microphone, control playback and stereo volume thanks to its onboard controls, and clip it onto something if you're the forgetful type. I am as well, so don't worry about that. It even features NFC support. Battery life is also great. This one lasts me easily a full day of audio playback and recharges via a micro USB port, so pretty much universal. And you can pick one up in either army green or black for under 40 US dollars. Nothing to complain about. I'm usually quite critical of products from brands I've never heard of before, but I really I really can't think of anything to complain about. I, I Actually, there is one thing I could complain about. Uh, getting to the micro USB port and the auxiliary port, that's a challenge. Uh, there's a rubber little door here and the, the little little lip here is, is too small to actually just pull up with your fingers. You have to use something like the guitar pick to get down in there and, and pry it up. But yeah, that's, that's just, I don't know. I guess I should have thought that through, but apart from that, I mean, everything that the speaker was designed to do, it does very well, much better than I would have expected it to for under 40 US dollars. You can find this product as well surprise again in this video's description. For those going back to school, I wish you the very best. Study very hard. For those on the daily grind, keep on grinding and keep on learning. This is Science Studio. Thanks for learning with us.